Hi there, I'm Lars from BFX and in this quick video I'm going to teach you how you can fix the common issues with Sand BFX for Unreal Engine 4 and Unreal Engine 5 and why those are happening. So start by creating a game third-person template without any starter content, just a third-person template and then create that one. And in this case, I'm going to be using Unreal 4, uh, 5.4.1, which is the latest, but feel free to just use Unreal Engine 4 or any of the other ones. So thing is, this project uh, has been created with uh, project settings in mind. So those are not ported into like the BFX package when you kind of download the package from the store. Uh, so that's causing issues. That's causing obviously some troubles in the fact that you can really test some of the demo features if you've got errors going on. So if you import SandFX into your project, like so, you can access the demo, for example, the overview map right there. And if I play, you'll see like this blueprint compilation error just happening. So open that up. And as you can see, it's an animation blueprint that's missing some components here, like the sand execution node. It's just simply not there. If you try to switch on physical surface, nothing's there. This is like a ghost. All right. So if you access edit project settings, and then inside the engine tab, you'll find, uh, well, input, which is important too, but like physics, which is the one that we want to access now. And in the physical surface, just access surface type number one, for example, and type in send, all right? If you've got more surface types, that's fine. Just add one, name it send. And then now if you drag and drop from the get surface type, you'll see that sand is now available. So just drag and drop, connect it there and remove those two, which should be good to go. And do the same for this one, just switch on a physical surface, connect this here, connect this here, and this should be good to go. If I compile now, you can see the mannequin is moving, but that's just the animation. You can't really move around. And why is that? Well, if you go into window, world settings, you'll see in the game mode override, third person game mode, you can access this one, which is the default pawn class is third person character dynamic sand, which is a pawn class that we created uh, in order for the demo to work. But since this was created with Unreal Engine 4 in mind, those are the old gamepad and movement inputs. So it checks if you've got like uh, like the mouse or if you've got like a headset or, you know, all the stuff, all right? Just in, in a quick, brief explanation so you can better understand it. So thing is, you can delete these because it's missing some components that were accessed by going into project settings and then into engine and input, you would find those there. So you've got the, the mappings there. But now if you go into the third person, new third person, uh, you'll see the EMC default, the actions there. So these are the new type of actions that you'd be accessing from the new BP third person character, which is the new character that Unreal provides you with the third person template. So copy those notes here, control C, and import them into our dynamic sand character in which we've just deleted the old notes like so. And now if you compile, everything should be working smoothly. Let's try that out. All right, so now I can move around and if I run with shift and come here into the sand, you'll see like the deformation demo. And then if you press Q, you'll see the dynamic uh, footstep uh, decal system happening. So yeah, that should be working now, right? So for Unreal Engine 4, it should be relatively easy and straightforward, just the same as this one, but just adjusting the uh, the e inputs to the old ones instead of the new ones like you, you, you have just seen here. And so, yeah, we do really apologize for the inconveniences caused by the Unreal projects not transferring like all the features, right? So they, they don't actually transfer the project settings uh, unless you set the package to not be a package, but a whole project, which is kind of annoying, right? Uh, so... Yeah, that's kind of a shame. That's just how stuff works around Unreal. There's no real way to work around it, at least for now that we are aware of. So this is the most, like the easiest way to kind of fix those issues for the demo. Besides that, please remember that all the other assets work. They do work. It's just the demo that doesn't work properly without all those adjustments. Uh, yeah, be sure to join our Discord. We've just created one Discord community server, just a whole server with a lot of inspiration, ideas, the tricks, tips, things to learn from. So we, we're 
starting to create a small community, FX community there. So feel free to join us and yeah, we'll wait for you there. If you've got any other questions, feel free to reach out to us to info at befax.com. Yeah, so join us and I hope you have a really sandy day.